Welcome to another edition of the Business and Personal Podcast, where we bring you closer to the people you do business with. And we're excited to have Brianna Michael on with us today. She's the owner of Michael Retirement Solutions out of Abilene, Texas, coming at us at a very important time with annual enrollment uh, coming here soon for Medicare. Huge changes, uh, more than normal. Don't want to treat your plan like Netflix uh, and auto renew this year. You really should work with someone like Brianna. So first of all, uh, I know you're busy trying to sort through all these changes, Brianna. So thanks for joining us. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. I appreciate uh, the time. So what the heck's going on? I know a lot of people are getting letters in the mail, kind of freaking out what's happening with Medicare. So the biggest, um, this is probably one of the largest cuts we've ever seen to Medicare, <laughs> um, but it's being publicized as you have a $2,000 cap on your prescription drug coverage. So that's the biggest thing that people are hearing is the $2,000 cap. Um, but what they're not seeing is the structure behind that cap and that's the biggest change that we're really facing so um this year uh when you get into what's called catastrophic which is pertaining to their drug coverage so when somebody has um eight thousand dollars in medication costs for the year and that's true cost of your meds you go into catastrophic coverage phase and you pay zero for the rest of the year well they're dropping that cap from eight thousand down to two thousand and with that, uh, when you get into catastrophic coverage this year, Medicare is responsible for a majority of the medication cost, 80% Medicare pays. And the other 20% is on the private carrier. Next year, once they drop that limit from 8,000 down to 2,000, the private insurance carrier is responsible for 60% of your cost. The uh, Medicare is responsible for 20% and the manufacturer is responsible for 20%. So what they've done is they've taken away funding from these private insurance companies in order to um, have that $2,000, once you get to that $2,000, have your medications paid for. So essentially, these private insurance companies are coming out and trying to figure out how they're going to substantiate all those costs. And so we're seeing a lot of plan changes. My head's spinning just uh, listening to you try to sort all that out <laughs> and imagine anybody trying to figure it out on their own. Uh, you know, why would somebody do that? Like, what are some of the mistakes that you see when people just try to do this on their own? So the biggest mistake is, you know, this year it's going to be really challenging to find everybody's medications on a formulary. So um, is what I believe. And that is all just speculation from my, my perspective, um, because I think these carriers are are really having to make some changes to their formularies, their obviously their premiums and all that in order to offset that extra cost essentially that they're having to pick up um, in the back end. Um, in fact, I saw a, just the other day, I was at a, a rollout and I saw something um, where they showed what a carrier was responsible for this year in med cost versus next year and it's nearly double. Uh, so it's really big. So they're trying to find ways to not go out of business and still substantiate these extra costs. And we're going to see plan changes like um, increase in premiums, you know, formularies. And we have programs ultimately that we can plug your information into. And it helps us to determine which one makes the most sense based on the medications. And with some meds, we may have to get a little bit creative in how we cover those. So it's, it's really crazy uh, the service that you value or that you offer, how valuable that it is, because, you know, we think about saving money in other ways, like, for instance, a refinance of a home. You got to pay closing costs. It takes years to recoup those. You could come in and fix mistakes somebody made on choosing a Medicare plan, save them money instantly, and they have to pay you a grand total of attention for your That's services. Right. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. They actually don't have to pay you for that value that you're that's right. Yeah, our services are at no cost to the beneficiary, the the um, essentially the carrier that they choose or whatever carrier makes most sense for them is how we are compensated. So they don't have to pay anything. It doesn't come out of their their pocket at all. So we don't have enough time to go through all the changes. You don't even know them all yet. Exactly. You're still about a week or so away from learning all that. But uh, the goal here today was just to shine a light on Big things are changing. Don't do things the way you should. So you should change the way you, all, you choose your Medicare plan, right? And that you're there to help. So um, what is the best way for people to get a hold of you and start the process? So the easiest way I will say is if you go to our website, uh, which is michaelretirementsolutions.com, or you can also go to briannasmedicareminute.com. I have a little schedule button on my website where you can actually schedule time with me. Uh, 
Um, you can also call our office and my assistant or myself, uh, my assistant is Lisa, or myself can schedule some time. Um, that phone number is 325-252-4177. Um, and that's the easiest way to get a hold of us. And we are here to help. That's what we do. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, uh, Brianna, for joining us. We'll get this out there and uh, hopefully people searching for Medicare assistance find you and uh, you're able to put them on the right path this year. I would just say the biggest thing is, like you said earlier, make sure you don't put your coverage on auto renew. What I'm afraid is going to happen, because most of my clients are guilty of doing that themselves, is that we're going to find out in January, we're going to get a big hit when we go to the pharmacy and we don't want people to do that because then you're locked into your plan for the year. So um, I'm happy to help and, and thanks for having me on, but don't put your coverage on auto renew.